Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will discuss about how to authenticate user based upon the AWS Cognito ID in our Flutter app. So basically, we will be achieving this with the help of a package known as Amazon Cognito Identity Package available in pub.dev. So with the help of that package, we will be able to authenticate the user based upon the Cognito ID. And I will walk you through how to achieve this in our Flutter app. Therefore, without wasting time, let's directly jump into the coding part and start implementing this in our Flutter app. Alright, first we need to add two dependencies in our perspec and the dependencies are Amazon Cognito Identity Dart underscore two and Flutter.env. So basically add these two dependencies in our perspec. After adding these two dependencies, just um, make sure to add the .env file over here in the assets as well. So basically we need to create a .env file in the project root directory. Okay, so um, this .env file I have already created, which is going to hold all the pool ID, client ID, and the region of what we get from AWS console. Okay, so make sure you add these in a separate .env file and add that path over here in the assets. Okay, after doing so, let's move on to the main.dr file. Starting with the main.dr file, where we have made use of generated routes and the initial route points to the login page, and the login page is nothing but um, a stateful widget class that is going to have two text form fields and a button okay so let's start with building up the basic ui components here first inside the body all the widgets is going to be wrapped in a column wise manner so the first child for the column is going to be the image the image is nothing but an asset image which we have inside the assets folder and after which we have the input field that is basically a text form field widget okay that is going to accept the username which is the email id in our case and again a padding spacing after which we have another text form field that is going to accept the password all right and finally we are going to have the primary button which is going to be the login button and upon clicking this button we need to make a call to the aws by passing the username which is the email id and the password and the aws will do the rest of the login process it also checks for validations like uh, um, is empty is, is the email ID valid or not and all those stuff the AWS handles the rest okay so you just need to pass that email ID and password over to that AWS Cognito okay so let's start defining that AWS functions right away all the AWS related functions are written on separately inside the data layer which is the AWS Nestle Cognito dart file and here let's start by defining a class which is AWS services we need to create a user pool by providing the pool ID and client ID okay these two values we are going to get from the .env file and for login we need to make use of a separate function which I have defined as the create initial record and it, it is going to accept the parameters which is the email ID and password and we need to create a Cognito user by passing the email id and pool user pool so user pool is going to contain the pool id and the client id okay so that is going to have an instance known as Cognito user and again you need to create the auth details by making use of the function authentication details uh, by passing the email id and password okay we make use of the function which is authenticate user by passing the attribute known as auth details so auth details is what we see here is the is uh, so auth details is going to contain the username and password and make use of the and this function pretty much makes a um, call to the aws and verifies the user is authenticated or not and the corresponding result is stored in the sessions which is the cognitive user session all right so since we are making use of try catch we'll be making use of these exceptions you can uh, pretty much get this code snippet in the package pub.dev pub itself so uh, we have um, the code snippet for uh, all those functions we will be checking for a few exceptions like connector claim exceptions and so on so if there is any exception occurring or the authentication has failed it will actually get caught in any of these exceptions and will be printing corresponding exception in the console all right this completes the core logic of making an call to the aws cognitor and authenticating the user so let's make use of this function right away in the login button and call that upon the on press event so let's create the login function and try to call that AWS service and authenticate the user. So the login function is going to uh, call that create initial record method by passing the email and password. Since I haven't provided any user pool ID or cognitive ID in the .env file, I won't be able to show up uh, the live tutorial how it works. You can test it out by providing your live pool ID and client ID and check it. I will also leave the link for this code in the description below. This is the package which we have been using for making use of AWS services 
and as you scroll down you will be able to see code snippet for pretty much every AWS service like creating the initial user log authenticating the user with the help of the SMS code or email verification like uh, resending the verification code etc initial login this is what we have discussed now that is log making the user to log in based upon the username and password so this package has uh, multiple use cases like uh, verifying the user verifying the authenticated user or create deleting the user attribute so on and so forth we have pretty much addressed all the use cases you can just definitely check it out if you are going to make use of cognito in your flutter app okay so hope you guys found how to authenticate the user based upon the cognito in your flutter app if you want me to make a detailed video regarding this aws cognito let me know in the comments below and at the same time if you found this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye